very nice to see you all, and I'm so glad to be able to connect with you. So today we're going to be learning about book reviews made easy. So if any of you have written a book review before, raise your hand if you have. I see some raised hands, so you, so you guys are practically experts. Who would like to tell me what, what are some things you already know about book reviews? Middle of the book, 
The person reading my review doesn't know what book I'm talking about, or who wrote it, or even the publisher, so the essential information is important to give before you start talking about the book too much. So to make your book review more interesting, however, don't just say the author is so-and-so and the title is this. Instead, try to weave the essential information into the first few lines of your book review. So make it um, make the transition really cool. So an example would be, have you ever wished you could live under water? Children's fiction author Ickle Rickle Nickel Lithiamptor brings readers inside the world of a new mermaid colony with his epic There's a Lot of Water, huh? So, um, obviously this is a fictional example, uh, I don't think such an author exists, but um, if you'll notice how instead of saying the author is Ickle Rickle Nickel, the title is There's a Lot of Water, huh? I kind of insert it with um, the hook, so I'm getting the readers interested by asking them a question. And I um, insert it in there without saying directly the author is this, the title is that. So try to make it um, really interesting. Now here are some good examples of book reviews. One is a um, review of The Tale of Despero, um, children's book review The Tale of Despero by Kate Camelo. So here we go. Um, the Tale of Despero by Kate Hamlo is an odd and engrossing fairy tale. The hero, Despero Tilling, is a mouse with large ears. While of the same high literary quality as her previous two children's books, Because of Wind Dixie, a New Guardian Honor book, and The Tiger Rising, a National Book Award finalist, and also geared to the same 8 to 12 year old age range, The Tale of Despero is distinctly different from other children's books by Kate Camelot. It has a lot in common with Grimm's fairy tips. So in this first paragraph, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. So who would like to tell me where is the essential information? Of the book that you're reviewing, the elements of stories. 
any of the ingredients. So here's tip number two. Just like knowing the ingredients in a recipe helps you understand the dish, knowing the elements of the story helps you understand the book. So if you were um, eating some food and you have no idea what went into it, that might be a little confusing. When you read a book and you don't know what went into it, uh, you might not be able to write a good book review. So knowing the ingredients and stories. Um, setting. So a story setting is the time and place where the story is set. So for instance, a lonely desert island in 2005. Who would like to tell me the setting of a book you've read? Sorcerer's Stone takes place at Hogwarts and also a little bit in London. Yeah, very good. Oh, oops, sorry, I just keep on skipping ahead a little bit. Characters. So the characters are the people or animals in your story. So remember how in that book review about the tale of Despero, they said the hero was Despero tilling a mouse with large ears? So sometimes your book review, the main characters will be animals, and you need to tell the reader about who the characters are. Your story focuses on the main character. So the main character is the um, most important character. It's who the story centers around. Um, so in Harry Potter, the main character is obviously Harry Potter. Um, a main character is also called a protagonist. So that's an important term. A protagonist is another word for main character. The villain of the story, the bad guys, are called the antagonists. So let's compare characters, protagonist and antagonist. Why don't you think of a book you've read, think of the main character, and think of a bad guy from the book, and we will put that down. So let's start with the main character, protagonist. Who would like to share one?
think about it this way. Um, if you have you ever told a story to your friends about something that happened to you? I see a lot of raised hands. Probably all of us have told friends about things that happened to us. And when you tell those stories, you always include who was involved. So I uh, fell down the slide and my friend picked me up and I had to go to the hospital and a doctor gave me stitches, for instance. Those are the characters in your story and the same thing applies when you're writing a book review. You want to show the reader who are the characters involved. So it's kind of the same as telling a story to your friends. You tell who are the people who in the story. When you're writing a book review, you tell your readers who are the people in the story. So it's um, just the same. Genre. Does anyone want to tell me what genre it is? Antagonist, 
So an antagonist would be the villain, right? So the important characters, setting, so where and when the story takes place. And then um, you might also want to, oops, sorry, um, you might also want to write down some notes on the narrator and their voice. Okay. So, be sure to get um, at least the title, main character, antagonist, and setting. And if you have some time after that, you can take some notes about the narrator and the voice. share if they have finished writing down some notes about their story. The book is Stone Fox and the main characters are Willie, Stone Fox, Grandpa, and Searchlight. The antagonist is the man who That's, that's one of the most important. Um, and plot is what happens in the book, basically. And you told us all about that. So there's a man who steals $500, and they have to go after it. Very good. So um, and, um, just quickly, I'll show you. When I wrote, it was about a book called I, Coriander. And the main character was Coriander Hobie. And the antagonist, there were kind of two, and he spells and wild legs. Uh, the setting was 1600s England in London. And the narrator was narrated in first person. So just some quick notes. Um, would anyone else like to share what they wrote down? Tales from the Odyssey. 
what did I like about the main character? What did I dislike about the main character? So, uh, basically asking yourself your opinion on something. If you were reading a book review, what would you really want to hear? Stuff about the main character or the um, plot or whatever. So ask yourself questions um, and then write answers to your questions in complete sentences. Make sure you ask and answer at least two questions. So for example, oops, let me insert a new page. Um, I may put something like, two questions. How did the main character's personality affect what I thought of the book? What did I think of the setting and how did it shape the plot? Now, don't, um, don't do questions like this. Um, think of your own, but you could ask yourself questions. How did I feel? What did I think? How did it affect another part of the book? How did it change another part of the book? So, um, you can really let your imagination go free when it comes to asking questions uh, and then answering them. And would you like to share? Did the book make me sad? And the answer is, yes, it did. Okay, so your first question is, did the book make me sad? And yes, it did. So you could turn that into, um, and you might also want to get more detail, like how did it make me sad? Why did it make me sad? Um, and, and so, uh, yeah, in your book review, you would talk about how did I feel after reading it. Did I feel sad? Did I feel happy? 
Maybe why did I feel that way? Very good. Did you write a second question and answer? Um, the second one is how many characters are there? Are there? And I put down a lot of characters. Okay, maybe you would be a little more specific. You could, um, in your book review, you could say some of the characters were so and so. Uh, it's important um, that, that you explain a little bit. So you don't just say, the book made me sad, but you also get into detail about how it did that. And you don't just say, there were a lot of characters. You might um, take one or two and explain who they were. Yeah, so other ones great. Okay. Uh, who else would like to share? And I think I might have gotten a little specific, more specific than I would have liked, but um, I put, how did the main character's personality affect what I thought of the book? Uh, Coriander Hobie was fearless, but also compassionate and kind. She seemed, however, almost too perfect, making the rest of the book seem a little unbelievable. So what I was saying there is basically the main character didn't seem to have any weaknesses, or very few. So that made me the question the book a little bit. And then what did I think of the setting, and how did it shape the Plot, setting of violent 1600s England provided a fitting backdrop to the conflict surrounding Coriander's life. So, uh, that, that's the, those are the questions that I asked and, and the responses that I put. And you don't want to get too specific, but definitely ask some questions. Uh, the, 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 the answers will be good in your book review. It will help share information with the reader that's important. Um, and so, definitely share your opinion. What did I think? How did I feel? Those are the kinds of questions that you want to be asking. Um, and let's get one more person to share the questions and answers that they create. Um, one of my questions was, did you like the plot? I said, yes. I heard that the plot was very interesting and descriptive. Very good, and thank you for, for giving me that, that uh, detailed uh, answer. Yeah, you thought the plot was very interesting and descriptive, and it's a good idea to ask questions about the elements of stories like character and plot and voice. That's a great idea. Um, very good. So, yeah, um, and another thing you might describe when you write your actual book review is um, what was in the plot, basically, so what happened in the book. But, yeah, very good. Thank you for sharing. And thank you, everybody, for sharing your questions and answers. Um, so this is one way that you can help with ideas to your book review, is think, what are some questions that readers might have for me? What are some questions that I have for myself about this book? It's a good way to kind of pick your brain and observe, what did I think about this book? Um, so that it can be a fun thing to do. Here are the tips, um, essential information. Does anyone remember what the essential information is? summary you might tell what the book is about, but more importantly, you can find on the front cover, you can, on the spine, what is the essential information? The essential information is the title, the author, the publisher, and the genre, I think. Very good. Um, yeah, those are all things you want to include. The basic essential information. Um, that, that your book review would be uh, kind of confusing without. You want to have the title, Plate Tectonics, you want to have the author, so the Silver Steams, um, and you also want to have the publisher. So these three pieces of essential information, the reason they're easy to remember is because you can find them right on the side of the book. The author, the title, the publisher. So that um, is, uh, and, and the reason that you want to include those in the book reviews is let's say I read a book review and I think, this sounds like a really good book. But I don't know the title, I wouldn't be able to find it. If I don't know the author or I don't know the publisher, it might be a little hard to find that book. So you need to include that just to give your readers a sense of what they're uh, re reading about. Know the ingredients. So just like knowing the ingredients in a dish or some food you eat helps you understand it better, knowing the elements in a story like character, plot, setting helps you understand the book and write a better review. 
Express your opinions. Book reviews give you a chance to share what you think, so take that chance. And question yourself. Ask questions to yourself. Remember to explain why you like or dislike something. Um, and if you're having difficulty thinking about what you want to write, you could ask yourself questions like, how did I feel about this part of the book? So those are the tips on how to write a good book review. And another um, good thing that I would uh, suggest you do is maybe try reading some other book reviews. Go online. Uh, the New York Times Children's Book section has a lot of good book reviews, and you really uh, can usually find them um, in, in newspapers and uh, magazines. Yeah, so those would be some tips. Now, if you have any questions for me uh, and, and anything that you would like to learn more about book reviews, you can go ahead and ask. what their opinion is, 
That's, so that's important to take into consideration what did the person writing this think, um, what's important to them. Yes, you definitely take those opinions. Uh, now before I forget, uh, could everyone, or could um, I have three people share one thing they've learned with me?
something special. Because there are schools, yeah, that, that don't have that much technology, don't use very often. Your school is pretty exceptional that you're video conferencing with me, and, and that's cool. So I am here in Washington State. What state are you in? Ohio. Ohio. Oh, great. I was in Ohio a few months ago, so last year, um, actually for a conference, ETEC Ohio. And so, yeah, I, I've been to Columbus, Ohio. What city are you in? Cleveland. Cleveland. Oh, great. Yeah, maybe next time I'm, I'm in Ohio, I can drop by and say hi. That would be cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, and I can, I will definitely um, write a little post about you on the blog and all the technology you use, so that should be fun. And thank you so very much for video conferencing with me. Uh, do the teachers have any questions or comments? No, thank you very much for your time. And I was actually uh, at the conference in which you were speaking, and I had the opportunity to meet with you and your mother. And uh, much like then, you did an exceptional job today. Oh, great work. thank you very much. Oh, that was great. I was, you know, I was wondering in my head, hmm, I wonder if they've been to Ohio. Great, and that is so cool to be able to meet you in person at a video conference. So, yeah, thank you so very much. It's been really enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Have fun writing. Bye. And thank you, you streamers. I really appreciate it. This has been Book Reviews Made Easy with third graders in Cleveland, Ohio. So thank you very much, and I hope that you all have a great day. You can be sure to visit my website, www.adorasvitalk.com, A-D-O-R-A-S-V-I-T-A-K.com, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash adorasv.